Hello and welcome. It's demo time and oh my god, we're looking at a knife round. Right, we're out of the knife round. We found the real game. I'm a fucking professional. Right, let's go. So um obviously this is from Blast Premier Spring Finals. This is G2 beating FaZe Clan. This is the last map of the best of three. Now, the way this best of three kind of went is FaZe absolutely demolished G2 on Inferno. Um, FaZe played a perfect Inferno. Looked like the best team in the world. Then Alexi B had a bit of a life game on the second map of Ancient, which was FaZe's pick. FaZe um, are willing to pick Ancient, kind of trying to make that, I think, a bit of a punish pick because I don't think there's too many teams that are, like, super proficient on Ancient, particularly on both sides. I think for most teams, it very much depends on getting CT side first. But it looked like FaZe mental boomed a little bit um, by the time this map came around. All right, so they've scouted car. They don't see anything behind the car. Mona C is like very much the tip of the spear here. He's got the raid boss by. Um, his P250 is very clean. He's kind of like simple with the P250, just super clean, really reliable for a headshot or two usually in the pistol rounds. Okay, so they killed the car. Mm, lost two. They killed the car guy, which was really good, but now they've lost another. A uh, bit of a one way there. Hunter and Mona C get that killed between them. Twist spams the smoke. I think that was pure smoke spam. That was. Oh, Nico just one taps twists. So, this has been a messy pistol round. Um, it's very much come down to trades. Oh, Gandalf. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, I don't think Mona C gets this one, no. I actually remembered that pistol round. I remember that moment from Mona C. Where... So, 71 ADR didn't get a kill, but he did get a lot of uh, damage down, which is pretty decent. Now, with no plant... It's probably just a bit of a force up. Mona C is going to. I thought he'd keep more money in the back pocket. Pretty janky buy from G2. They'd be lucky to get anything out of this. I remember, obviously, I was at the event, so I watched this game. Don't remember exactly how it went. And just remember that with all demo reviews where I do this, where I know the result, guys, like I'm trying to look at it from the point of view as if I didn't know the result. Just because I think that makes for more interesting analysis. Um, and I often don't remember a lot of what's happened in the games, to be fair. Nice one. Going for the wall bang. I'm joking, he wasn't. Right, so they've made the right call here, G2. If they went B sooner rather than later, that would be pretty baller. They would have one guy on the site and he's playing up close, so he's very tradable. Yeah, Rob's had a bit of a stinker on B this game. I feel like Rops was actually a big part of the reason FaZe lost this game from memory. Rops had a real stinker on the on B site on CT. A lot of times where he was playing very passively, looking for multi-kills instead of just trading. And a uh, nice shot from Monacy. So yeah, that was G2 made the right call. I don't know how I feel about the setup from FaZe, honestly. Like, leaving Rops on an island and so close... Like, if you're going to have a solo B defender there, I feel like it, it wants to be a Famas who's playing further back so he can, like, stall and play for time more. Menacee spotted that, but is not going to take the fight too much because he's got Nico on a site anyway to take a bit of a fight, and he had a shit gun for that fight. Ah, uh, Nico absolutely bodies rain. Of course he does. Cool. Right, so really nice from G2. I think FaZe kind of set themselves up for failure a little bit there. I'm not sure how I feel about leaving a, an XM on its own on what will be a force buy. Maybe they weren't expecting the force buy. I don't know. Maybe they're expecting a hard eco. That <laughs> first bullet went nowhere. God, that fight is so annoying to take when the pit player is playing like that. Just like strafing around like a fucking lunatic. Okay, so FaZe actually got two on the initial here. There's still one in pit. Yeah, this falls apart now. Rain actually gets Mona C, which is pretty impressive. Uh, we'll switch to Nico for the rest of the round. We'll speed. Ooh, if Nico wins this. Oh my god. He almost didn't. That was big brain, though, to be thinking about the. Uh... And then Nico kills. <laughs> Nico's fucking good, man. Nico also had an incredible map here. So when Nico and Mona C are like absolutely balling, yeah, it's going to be hard work to win that. Mm. He's very quick. 
very, very quick Manusi. One of the features that makes him such a, an exciting AWPer, but also makes him so efficient. Right, so we'll speed through. Okay, he gets one digs, but it happens. Uh, they didn't retrieve the orb, which is kind of sad. So he is going to have to rebuy. Somebody else rebought for him, Hunter did. Right, let's see what we get here. So three early long for phase, one further back, two further forwards to fight. Carrigan gets the kill on Alexi, but G2 at least get out. Looks like FaZe is all inning the defensive long here. They're not just going to leave their pit guy to try and get another one. Yeah, they're all out on it. 4v2 very early. Hunter's kind of stuck behind blue bin. He manages not to get himself out, but he gets the kill on Carrigan. Okay, that's huge. That's a really important kill there. Ah, uh, threw a bit of a gap in the smoke. It's unfortunate for Carrigan. Carrigan has to try and stay alive there and at least go one for one. Because now it goes from like a very low percentage round to actually now quite doable for G2 because they have an AWP. AWP could pick up a free kill. They have enough utility to do something. The smokes aren't that useful for FaZe Clan anymore. These two CT smokes aren't as useful as they might be. Okay, really nice. So it's probably the right call just to creep up long because this is where they have the control. Um, if they turn around and try and leave, they're going into a map that there is just not at all clear. Okay, you're going to try and use that as a... Okay, not bad. That smoke is a bit janky from phase. That's a phase smoke, right? I'm not so sure what that does, really. Someone's out at long. Oh, Modesty's going to hear this. Whiffs that. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, that is bad from Modesty. He needed to hit those shots there that was that was actually very doable okay that that's a criticism there he probably should have taken a little bit more time on that ct shot to make sure he got it or crept out a little bit further to make sure he got the guy who was closer i think that was a little bit where the excitement got a hold of him there and um led to him making a bit of a mistake I, I would say he should hit that shot monacy and then he has a chance to hit the guy along he should at least get one of those two kills and he doesn't get either because if he turns that into a 1v2, it's very doable for Hunter. Particularly if he kills the guy closer in CT. Because Hunter has a bit of time to take the, the long jewel and then the jewel on the guy that's further back. In that, in the heat of the moment, like it's very hard to make like the absolute optimal play. But he should have at least got one of those, I think, Monacy there. Right, G2 with a pretty standard default. This is like standard default on Dust2 now. It's kind of like 2 through middle, 2 through lower. 3 will kind of meet up and take um, mid slash uh, cat control. 1 will kind of lurk up, or 1 will lurk long doors. This is a very, very standard Dust2 default. Has been for a pretty long time. Or at least variations on this style of default. Phase with a pretty passive hold. Still got a little bit of utility left, but they are kind of draining it. They got smoke on Carrigan, for sure. Twist just dumped his smoke. This is going to be an A hit. They've got somebody in CT, right? This is going to be really messy. Oh, Nico with a kill on Carrigan. This is a really messy round. Ah, they're just getting all the frags. That's really, really nice. From G2. I mean, FaZe were kind of set up to be able to deal with it, but they just didn't get enough of the kills. This will be a save from FaZe. Okay, so not much bonus he's had to do so far. Ah, uh, Alexi gets the blind kill on Rain at long, a freebie. Rops dies. See, Rops again. Rops had a real stinker, man. Anything he tried just wasn't working. And so they've just picked apart this, uh, like, sort of save. Twist was having a good game this, this though, I remember. Uh, was it this one that Twist was playing well? Maybe not, actually. I might be confusing it with the Dust 2 against Big on Rubet Cup. Monacy. 
eats a little bit of chip damage, but nothing too crazy. That is kind of acceptable. It does put him in one shot headshot range, but as an AWPer, if you miss your shot, you're probably dying anyway. I think he's waiting for the yeah flash i think from nico i think nico chucked a flash into the middle there long player is very isolated that's carrigan he's not done the best job anchoring long so far this game it looks like the a split's gonna be the way very spread defense from phase i expect now they'll start shifting because we're getting towards sort of like a minute to 50 seconds left That's too hard though, because you just you can't get info as CT really. There aren't very many info plays you can make. Yeah, now we've got some um, rain leaning towards A. Oh, he's gonna come back now for the mid. Twist leans a bit more towards B. Yeah, they're just kind of abusing this very very spread defense from Phase Clan. Heavy emphasis on kind of catwalk and, and middle from G2 just to kind of abuse the fact that phase are very, very spread and split and running back and forth. Mona C, 1v2. Don't jump again. Okay. I was going to say do not jump again, Twist. So actually phase are kind of like keeping this close early in the half. <laughs> This is a really, really key round. If they win this one, then it, it probably leads to a good half for them. Whereas, obviously, if G2 win it, then they're in a very favourable position. Because if we look at the money bonuses, neither of them have a loss bonus built up now. So, a reset is very, very key here. Jax with no utility. Famas on rain. Couple of unnecessary helmets on phase. I guess they haven't kept the best track of the G2 money. Or maybe they think like Jax would be on a Galil or something. So pretty good variety from G2 actually on this T side. Like they've called a pretty varied. Looks like it's just going to be straight up B here. here. This is another one where I, I think Rops is going to fluff the hold. Rain gets his. Rain gets two. Rops... Dies just to a molly. Yeah, just stood in a fucking molly. Rops had a fucking shocker, dude. Rain gets two. All Rops needs to do is go one for one. <laughs> or just stay alive longer. Just was not Rops's. Okay. Carrigan was exposed to that angle. Bit weird there from Carrigan to just not even be thinking about... And he cups, he smacks everyone on the backstab from, um, I think he dropped down from Cat. Modesty has a long spawn, so he'll go for the peak. So yeah, that's kind of fucked phase over and is going to mean they very, very likely lose the half. Nico absolutely hard carrying this T side at the moment for G2. Just so many key frags, both entries and closing the round. Haven't had to see too much from our boy Monacy. Okay, so Monacy knows that nobody is crossed long. I mean, they're still going to be vaguely careful, but you're pretty much certain nobody's crossed long here. So you'll get out and take this control for free. Phase are grouping up on Catwalk. It looks like trying to catch the lower guy. Yeah, and they're not going to. I think you got to commit to the fight in mid there because they're just rotating back, yeah, into people being stood there on long. I think um, it doesn't matter too much because they're on four pistols, but the optimal play there, I think, is to stay and fight in middle. They're rotating back to long when they have no control there, and so it's very, very likely the G2 have already pushed out. All right, just speed through this. Time out from phase. Probably a bit late in the half. But I guess this is the first round after the break. They don't have a like the perfect utility sets. So and they have a fam ass. Yeah, it's just scuffed. This is kind of a bit uh rain. No flash or anything. 
I don't know about that, man. That's a bit of a low percentage play, in my opinion. It's just kind of walking out. Not. How did that not hit? Gets to the second attempt. We'll speed this a bit because I don't think Monosu is going to get too involved with this for the time being. Oh my god, everyone's dying. What the fuck happened to everyone not long? Alright, Monosu in the 1v2. Clears out Goose. This is kind of a hard round. That is going to kill. Ooh, twists. And Monosu in the 1v1. Monosu has no idea where he is. At all. Twists leaving towards long. Doesn't know if Mona C. Because Mona C has time to wrap. Oh, Mona C sees the head. Nice. That's a good tap. Kind of a favorable fight for the A1S there, I think, a little bit. It's just a little bit easier to hit with the low recoil. Like if you burst a couple of bullets or if you tap, the recoil isn't as harsh. So you can get a few more taps in before you need to think about resetting. Okay, so it's a big clutch from Mona C. That was a big opportunity for FaZe Clan to get back into it. Straight away off the buy. And now, yeah, the aggressive mid push has just been punished. Rops is also chilling tucked in behind the doors. In fact, they were all just kind of chilling around the doors. Yeah, you've got to try and do something, haven't you? We're just going to speed through this. This round should be free. Yep, it's going to be free. Cool. Didn't see anything crossing. I would have liked to have seen FaZe aggress upper tunnels early in a round. I feel like that's one of the aggressive plays you have on CT and that FaZe haven't really utilized it. Maybe they just don't think it's good. Mid B split quite early in the round for a mid B split. Rops is just not going to get anything done again, is he? Yep. He gets one. I'm pretty sure I remember on that round he kind of baited his teammate there as well. Mosey doesn't really have to do anything again. It's all <laughs> been, been quite a few rounds like that. Okay, bit bit scuffed again for the CTs on the buy. Oh, Hunter took a big chunk of damage. So they're leaning A this time. They're letting Twist solo B. They're having Rops close in middle. It looks like they're just going to have Twist tank the whole round. And they're going to... Twist needs to just go one for one on the guys coming out of tunnels and he needs to let Rain and um, Rops, sorry, deal with the mid prong of the attack if that's what comes. And it looks like G2 are setting up for a similar mid B split. <laughs> Probably just going to delay the timing a little bit to throw FaZe off. But, but they are going to go for some sort of mid B split. Oh, okay. Looks like they're calling the readjustment from phase a little bit here by saying we're going to just have a lurk out mid instead. Yeah, they need to go like sooner rather than later. Okay, so two die. Three die. It's a 2v4 from Nico. Good hold from phase. They reacted quick enough. And understood what was happening. I didn't see what happened to the mid lurk. Oh, but Nico is just fucking killing everyone. Yeah, what 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 do? What do when Nico decides to murder everybody? Nico has fucking hard carried this T side man. He has he's just been an absolute fragging genius. Yeah, not not another one from Modesty. It's hard that one because they knew exactly where he was. He needed to get the first shot clean and then maybe he has a chance. He's got the long peak again. Yeah, no. Nah. A pro team, like especially at the top end of the game, they're not going to die to that. Like Monacy sitting in the molly. 
they're going to wait until they know he has to leave. Because if they, if he stays long enough in that molly to go one for one, you shrug your shoulders as a CT and say, okay, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. I can't really, um, I can't really counter that play. But yeah, most stoppers are not going to go one for one there. Or not going to stay in the molly and, and sort of say, fuck it, I'll go one for one there. Carrigan again. Yeah, they're anchors phase. So Carrigan is kind of the pit anchor and Rops as... Well, not anchor. Rops doesn't anchor be, but... Two of the guys playing at the extremities kind of had stinkers, I think, for phase on this CT side. Rops had a rare stinker, but it, it I think this was a pretty bad game from... A pretty bad half from Rops. And then Carrigan had a bit of a mare at long as well. You can forgive Carrigan a bit more. He's not supposed to, like, go nuts, but... Okay, really good first shot. Now he has a bit of time. Phase is splitting into three. They've got one guy waiting outside long, one guy waiting CT, one guy waiting catwalk. It, I think they're going to let the bomb go down, it looks like. Looks like the idea... It, oh, okay, no, someone's getting close. Okay, so Broke was holding with the AWP. Oh, Twist didn't need to swing there. I don't know why he's running out into no man's land there. Oh, Monacy kills Roki. Oh, no. Phaser giving him 1v1s. Rops with a jiggle. Really nice to obscure vision. Sick clutch from Monacy. Phase definitely misplayed it. They set up in the right way. They set up one long, one CT holding the angle with the AWP and then one on catwalk. The problem is that the AWP... CT missed the shot and then the catwalk guy swung really fucking wide and it looked like the communication was wrong there because the CT guy didn't then re-peak or, or like hold I don't know it just looked a little bit disjointed there I think Twist was like swing 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 I think Broker was like I missed a shot just chill it looked like the communication was a little bit sus there it's still really nice from Monacy he had a picture of where people were in the round perfectly there great timings on what to peak when and that molly to allow him to reposition and give Rops a tougher shot. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff from Monacy. It's a sick clutch. He's a really, really good clutch player, Monacy. Um, and I think that's kind of what elevates him from just being kind of like a decent-ish youngster to being like actually really promising is his clutch ability, even at this age and even in big games, is is humongous. It's huge. Come on. Christ alive. 45 minute half time. Oh, that's a that's a very quick short boost. Not oh, the B rush. Monacy is pretty quick on the backstab. Hmm. Bit slow. Oh, Rex Carrigan. Yeah, Carrigan's having a bit of a stinker here. <laughs> oh. Monacy. Yeah, it was another good shot. So yeah, nice uh, play from G2 there to do that really quick boost into middle. I think in general, you can get quite aggressive in middle as the CTs on the pistols on Dust 2. Those ESPs have really favorable fights, I think, there. I think that the only like super reliable play, I feel like, for the Ts is to either get enough utility that you can go long or to just go B. Monacy with his scoot. Oh, Carrigan. Oh, no. Don't. You can't out-scout Monacy. Oh, Brokey with a fucking sick shot, though. Okay, so they got two. They've got a decent amount of mid control. They've got somebody out mid trying to find a timing. Oh, someone blocks the smoke. Who did that? Who blocks the smoke? Someone's getting a week's salary docked. You fucking useless pleb. Monacy knows somebody's still there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at them. The way he's watching the other... He 100% knows that Rain is there. Rain was hoping to catch somebody unawares. Off guard. Monacy is fully aware. Monacy's third eye is open. He sees all. Yeah, reading the catwalk play here is Monacy. Oh, but he gets fucking wrecked, mate. Stitch should still be able to hold this off, G2. Nico's in a good spot. Oh my god, apparently not. They're all going to die. What the fuck? 
Oh my god, is Nico still going to win this? It was a huge play to trigger discipline there. His teammates all let him down by just getting wrecked. Oh my god, he's going to do it. Oh, the mad lad so nearly did it, dude. Brokey, a huge fucking carry that round. Got the opener with the deagle, I'm pretty sure. And then, yeah. Yeah, Bro Brokey, Brokey and his deagle there were fucking key in getting that round over the line for G2. Uh, for G2. For FaZe. So that's actually a really big round for FaZe. This, this gets them back into the game massively. All they need to do is convert this and then G2 are going to be on a bit of a, a save. Oh, this very early out B is, does not seem like the call. I mean, there was only one on the site, but where the fuck? It was just two of them walking out on their own. Where was everybody else? There, nobody else was anywhere near. Feels like Rops and Brokey tried to take something on, like, some sort of read they thought they had and just got it fucking horribly wrong. Round's gonna fall apart. Yeah, Rops and Brokey just running out tons on their own with no coordination with the rest of their team. I can only think they thought they had a timing or a read. And they thought they had to take opportunity of it straight away. Oh, twists with a nice peak on Monacy there. Great timing. Um, that's purely timing based. Just a feel. Good trade though. So yeah, FaZe had an opportunity. Threw it immediately. That's probably the game. Oh, got a nice little tag on Rain. Three in tunnels again. Bomb's now coming, but it looks like they're going to all meet up in middle for some fun. Maybe hold hands, sing a bit of Kumbaya. And then go home, because this game is done. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to watch Monacy here. I'm going to go to Hunter, because Monacy's not going to get any action for a while. So I'm going to stick on Hunter until we think Monacy is going to see something. Because this... Yep, one. Only one. Okay, now a round has been made of this. Nico's nade really saves the day there. Hey, who... So Jax is in tons. This is still kind of hard because Jax still has tons control. And he gets Carrigan. Yep. Otherwise, I was looking good for FaZe, but they're so fucking low. Oh, Brokey kills Jax though. It's not Ogre. Alexi and Monacy are on 100% HP, though, so they do have favourable jewels. Yeah, Brokey dies there. Yep, this is done, so Twist ain't getting shit done on 18 HP. Yeah. Right, so it's it's basically Ogre. Um, another janky as heck. But FaZe have basically not had, like, an actual full, full buy pretty much the whole game. They have... Been dealing with at least utility short buys a lot of the time. So, yeah, I think their economy being in a rough spot has not been great for them. I think it's a large portion of the reason they're losing this. Monacy might take some contact here. I think FaZe are eventually going to come up this catwalk area. As you can see, one tunnels, three taking cat, one long. The standard default. Rops, very passive. I think he's hoping that Alexi B is going to push. But Rops, Rops in general is a passive style of lurk. FaZe bleeding out the clock, hoping to bleed some more utility. To be fair, G2 don't have that much left. Modus is in a good spot here to deal with this. Oh, he's seen two drop. You saw... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, Modus saw it happen. Um... Interesting play from FaZe. Yeah, Rops is it's just a bit of a stinker from Rops. Got very little done in this game. Another super passive lurk. This just doesn't get anything done. And last round. Yep, Carrigan dies. Yeah, FaZe just wanted this game done with, didn't they? There was no real coordination on this last round. They were just ready to go home. They didn't go home after this. They actually went to the quarterfinals where they got spanked on the bottom by Na'Vi. Yep. 
Oh, there they all are. Just spray them down, boys. Spray them down. Right, so. Good game from Monacy. Particularly certain points of the game. There was one round where in a... Was it 4v2 or 3v2? It was a 3v2. He probably should have got at least a kill to turn it into a 2v1 for Hunter. But apart from that, um, some very important clutches from Monacy. I think... That is the thing to bear in mind. He wasn't as much on the ADR front as, as Nico was. Nico, particularly on that T side, man, Nico was hard fucking carrying. But what Monacy did have is he had um, some very, very important rounds where he got clutches that, you know, maybe he shouldn't get. And the economic damage that did to FaZe was very telling. Like I said, towards the end there, FaZe managed, like, one full, full buy uh, in that whole game. Everything else was either short on utility or just full on scuffed. Just a full on scuffed like Thamases and Galils and shit. So a very good game from Monacy. This was kind of what you want for G2. I think this is how G2 have to be. Is Monacy and Nico need to be the big boys carrying. Hunter probably needs to be that third guy. That water carrier. A kind of uh, middleman type player. Uh, and then LACB and Jax can, you know, do whatever the fuck they want. Jax just run out and get headshots so that Monacy and Nico can trade you. Um, LACB do the same and do some decent calls. I think LACB called a pretty decent T side here. There seemed to be quite a varied look to G2's T side. They definitely threw a lot of different things at FaZe and had FaZe thinking. And I think that's why towards the end of that half, the first half of FaZe as CT, they were kind of quite spread out with their defense. I think they weren't very comfortable trying to make reads on what G2 were doing. It's kind of hard on Dust2 sometimes to read exactly what's coming. I know there aren't like a million different rounds that you can throw as T's on Dust2. It's a somewhat simplistic map, but there aren't like... Uh, there isn't a lot of information plays that CTs can make, right? They can kind of get some idea that you're in middle, but you're going to be in middle virtually every round as T's. They can try and push upper or um, upper. They can try and push upper B. Not always the highest percentage, especially if you've got like two defaults in there or three potentially, depending on what kind of default you're running as T's. And then long, long is notoriously, I think, a coin flip, man. Like whether you push it and get info or don't. And often late lurks come through long anyway. So often information even being in long house is fucking useless unless you push all the way out. Anyway. You know the drill, like it, favorite, subscribe, like and favorite, is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing on YouTube anymore, but subscribe, most of you probably aren't subscribed, so fucking click that button, you bastards, alright, support me, uh, and if you didn't like it, probably means you're a FaZe fan, and, you know, Rops had a bit of a stinker, Carrigan had a bit of a stinker, I mean, nobody played particularly well, did they? Let's be fair. Peace out, guys. See you in the next one.